The next stitch I'm going to show you is called the double crochet stitch. When we do this stitch from the foundation row, we need to skip three chains to achieve the correct height. Okay, so one, two, three. To do this stitch, we yarn over, insert our hook down into the chain, and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on the hook. We yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. All right. Now that we've done our first stitch, we can do our stitch in each of the chains all the way across. So the next chain is here, and we yarn over, insert our hook into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Do it again, yarn over, insert hook into the chain, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And I want you to do this all the way across because we need to talk about our chains at the end of the row again because it's going to be slightly different for this stitch. So go ahead and go across. And we'll do our chain three at the end of the row. Now we've reached the end of the row and we're going to chain three at the end of each row for this stitch. And chain three and turn our work the other direction. The difference with the double crochet is that this chain three counts as the first stitch. So we would count that as a double crochet coming out of this first stitch here. So we'll do our next stitch in the second one, and that counts as our second stitch in the row. So when we come back across, we have to remember that this is a stitch, and we'll do our last stitch in the top of this chain three. We'll be treating it just like it's a double crochet. Now we can go across, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll go all the way across, and we'll remember when we get to the end of the row that we're going to do our last stitch in the chain three of the row below. I'll show you that when we get to that point. We've gone all the way across and now we remember that this chain three counts as a stitch. So we're going to do our last stitch into the top of the chain three because we're counting it as a stitch. It's a little bit different than what we've done before. All right, and then that will keep our edges nice and straight. So we're going to chain three. Remember that this counts as our first stitch, and it will say this in the pattern, and it's the default. All right, so if it doesn't say, this is what you do because this is our default. So we, our chain three counts as a stitch. It's coming out of this first stitch below there. So now we're going to go into the second stitch from the hook and do our next stitch. And we need to do this on every single row as we go across. Never forget 
at the end of the row that this chain three right here at the end of this row counts as a stitch. So we're going to do our last stitch in the top of the chain three when we get to the end of the row. And we're not going to forget to do that. Once in a while, a pattern will tell you to chain two and then do your double crochet. It'll have you go right back into the first stitch like the previous stitches. So you wouldn't skip, but you go back in there. And this will give you kind of a wavy edge, and maybe that's something that the person that wrote the pattern desires. If you're told to deviate, follow the instructions in the pattern. But the default is to chain three, and that counts as the first stitch. And it'll usually tell you that in the pattern. And then you go into the next stitch for your next double crochet. 